Welcome to our introduction video all about the TradingView platform being integrated into the Symphony platform. Now, in a first of its kind integration, you can now access all of the research, charting, and data capabilities of TradingView directly within your collaboration tools on Symphony. So as you can see here, we have a chart in front of us. We can move our chart around. We can zoom in and out. We can even access all of the data available to us by clicking the symbol search at the top. Let's go ahead and click all here and reviewing the over 1 million different symbols now available to us within Symphony by getting started with Trading View. Now we're going to cover all of this in detail, but first of all, let us just remind you that this is our introduction video walking you through the process of getting started. But in the other videos within this video series, we will cover some of the other tools in more detail. We will do a full charting tutorial, a screener tools tutorial, a watch list and news tutorial, and we will finish our video series off with some advanced tips. Now you can access all of these videos within this playlist. So go jump ahead as you need. But if you're looking to get a general introduction and in how to get started, well, you've come to the right place, sit back, and we are going to now get started by showing you what's possible. Okay, the first thing that you'll probably notice is that we are logged into our Symphony account, just as you might be as well. In fact, we have all of our workspaces up here neatly organized and laid out the way we want. We've also now got our chart in front of us, which can be manipulated, edited, and moved around as needed. Now, how do you get started within this process? Well, what you're going to find is a first of its kind integration within the Symphony platform, combining the advanced research and data capabilities of TradingView with the key compliant and collaboration tools of Symphony. Click this TradingView icon to get started. Now, when you click this training view icon, you will get a chart just like this. Now, once your chart is open, this is effectively your home base for exploring all of the data, all of the research capabilities, and all of the charting tools available to you, all while maintaining all of your chats, all of your collaboration, and your workspace as well. So you can now combine the two and the possibilities are endless. The first thing that we want to make sure you know about is the symbol search at the top. The reason why this is an important way to kick off this video is that when you click the symbol search, you will enter the world of TradingView and the over 1 million symbols that you have access to. Now, what's really important here is depending on the type of researcher, investor, trader, uh, market commentary, anything of the sort, you can find your specific asset class within these filters. We've got stocks, funds, futures, forex, crypto, indices, bonds, economic data, and options data. So as you sort through these lists, you can really get a feel for how much data is available to you. Another really important point here is to use the symbol search almost as you would, say, Google search. If any symbol comes to mind, Go ahead and type it into the symbol search and you will see all of the different symbols available to you, all while also having direct exchange data that you can analyze and look into to see the exact source. So why don't we go ahead and type in TSLA and select Tesla and let's make sure we select Tesla from the NASDAQ exchange. So just like that, we have created a chart of Tesla. Now, this is really just scratching the surface because as you get started with this new integration, it's critical that you know at the bottom here is a screener tool, meaning you can create custom screens depending on your needs, stocks, forex, and crypto pairs. There is also another screener tool to take you to an even a more advanced level whereby you can access the ETF screener, bond screener, crypto coin screener, and DEX screener. So if you have any parameters or filters in mind that you want to scan for and screen for, it could be volume-based, fundamental-based, trading-based, it can all be done from the screener tools across all of the assets and asset classes that the TradingView platform brings to you now on Symphony. 
it's equally important to know that you also have a watch list details and news menu. In this part of TradingView, you can create a highly custom and sophisticated watch list that you can utilize to breeze through within your daily workflow. So in this example, you can see here we've got Apple, Tesla, Netflix, US oil, gold, silver, Euro USD, GBP USD. The point is we've created this watch list and we can click through it and the chart also updates automatically. We've even got some news capabilities. If we adjust our window as needed, we can see 32 minutes ago, the latest headline has come across. We can click into this to access this news in more detail. Now, the point of this video is really just to get you started. We wanna make sure you understand how to access the TradingView platform on Symphony, what it means, where you start from, and in our next videos, we are really going to take you deeper. So sit back and get ready to explore all markets, all symbols, and combining that capability with your team collaboration efforts.